Hello everyone, it's Shannon here. I'm so excited to have you joining me today because I have a really fun card to share with you. We're going to create this interactive card that has a hidden slider so the track is completely hidden and I think it's a really cool surprise interactive card. I'll be using these awesome new products from Pink Fresh Studios September release. I'll be using this super adorable Skiing by stamp set as well as the Skiing by matching dies. Let's take a quick look at the finished card. As you can see, it doesn't look like there's any kinetic element until you give that card a little tilt and then that bunny slides down the ski so slope. What I love about this is that the slider track is completely hidden by that front ski slope and I will show you how to kind of do that today. I'm going to start today's card with two A2 panels of 110 pound white cardstock. I'm going to start by making my mountain panel. So I grabbed the mountain dies from the Skiing by Matching die, sta die Set and I'm going to die cut one of the A2 panels kind of at the very top portion with the mountain die. Now I've grabbed the slope die from the set and I'm going to use that mountain panel to kind of help me figure out my positioning on the second panel. So I kind of want it right there so I'm going to kind of mimic that position on my second panel and then use some micro pore tape to hold that die in place and then I'll run it through my die cutting machine. Once I finish that I will remove the tape and this will actually be my front ski slope. So I'm going to position it here on my mountain panel and then just trace it with my pencil. That is so I know where it's going to be positioned on that, that mountain slope and I can make sure I'm covering up the track. So now I'm going to die cut the track. So I have the exact same slope die here and I'm going to basically line it up with that pencil line just a little bit lower because again I want to cover this track up completely with that front slope so I want it to be a little shorter. So I just ran it through my die cut machine and I'm now going to remove my marker pour tape and now I have to cut a little bit more kind of I actually have to remove this center portion of the track. So again I'm matching up that slope die leaving only about 1 16th of an inch gap of cardstock and then running it through and that will cut about a quarter inch wide track. You want at least a quarter inch to a half inch. You don't want it too wide or your penny which is what we're using to create our slider will fall out. So now I have about a 6 inch by 2 inch piece of contact paper that I ran through my die cutting machine with the slope die from again the skiing by die set and it's a little bit shorter than six inches so I just trimmed off the little uncut portions with my scissors this is going to be a mask so we can create a back kind of snow slope um, it just will provide a little bit more dimension we don't want to actually have that slope die cut because that thickness will prevent the slider from moving smoothly so we want this to be nice and flat and flush with our mountain panel so I'm just now erasing my pencil mark that I made for my slope, stuck down my contact paper, at my contact paper mask, and now I'm going to start doing some ink blending. I'm going to use some um, new inks that are coming out from Pink Fresh in October. I'm really excited about these inks, and I'm going to ink blend this top, this mountain portion here with a color called Seaside, which is a really pretty blue color. I'm going to create a pretty subtle kind of gradation over these mountains with this blue and I'm um, just ink blending like normal with my little mini ink blending tools works really well once I finish ink blending I'm going to remove that contact paper mask place it on the backing and just give it a quick wipe with wipe with my chamois and put that away and use that later I can use those masks over and over and again so I always save them I'm now going to do a little bit more ink blending this time I'm using ocean breeze and I'm going to blend this back uh, snow slope with just a little bit of that ocean breeze just to kind of create a little shadow. Now on our front slope, our front snow slope, I'm going to also blend some more of that ocean breeze just kind of from the corner and out. So my last little bit of ink blending I'm going to do for the sky. So I have an A2 top folding card base here made from 110 pound white cardstock. And I'm just going to basically blend this upper third with some more of this ocean breeze. I'm going to be a little bit more heavy handed here and I'm basically um, attempt to create a gradation but it ends up being a little flat but it's okay because I definitely wanted it a bit darker and more intense color than um, the little bit of ink blending I did on my little uh, snow slopes. 
So I'm just finishing up here, just making sure I've blended enough and that it covered enough. And now I'm moving on to stamping my images. So I've already stamped some images from the Skiing by Stamp Set onto some white cardstock. This is actually a scrap from when I cut earlier. And then I'm going to stamp those trees a second time there. And I'm using Memento Tuxedo Black, which is a alcohol marker friendly ink. And now I'm ready to do some Copic coloring. You probably noticed that I die cut some of the trees out before I color them, which is actually not what I typically like to do. I like to color and then die cut. I cut those trees out because I found it was easier to cope it color them once they were die cut because I knew where the edges were going to be since these um, kind of like stick trees didn't have um, edges. So I'm the colors I'm using are on screen. I'm just doing some really simple Copic coloring, just two uh, shades of color, a, a light and a dark. I have a darker green here now that I'm adding a shadow. When I col Copic color, I always start with my lightest color, then my darkest, and then I blend back through my colors. So now I'm just blending with my lightest again, trying to blend that transition between the dark and the light. And now I'm going to finish up my little mouse here with some really, really, really light kind of blue color. And I went ahead and die cut the rest of my images out. And now I'm going to quickly stamp my sentiment before I put this card together because I kind of have everything ready to go. I'm going to stamp on that front ski slope with a, it just says Christmas greetings in some memento tuxedo black in the lower corner of that little panel. And once I stamp that, I'm now ready to put it together. I have all my pieces here ready to go and kind of assemble this hidden slider card. I'm going to use some, some foam tape. You definitely need foam tape to pop this up to provide the kind of the opening for the, the space for the slider to move. And you want to make sure you're using foam tape that is thicker than your penny. So a lot of foam tape can be 1 16th of an inch thick. That's a little too thin. This is a little thicker than that. Um, it doesn't say anywhere on here the thickness of it. Otherwise, I'd tell you that. But it's definitely a little bit thicker than 1 16th and definitely thicker than a penny. So just make sure it's thicker than a penny. And this foam tape is from scrapbook.com. And I wor it worked really well for this project, so I liked it. So I'm going to add foam tape here to the... Um, bottom portion of our track and I'm going to make sure I avoid putting any of this foam tape anywhere um, like a half an inch from the edge of the track except for the very edges here because that's going to be a stopper for our sliding critter because if we don't have a stopper the sliding critter and the penny will just slide right out of our card and we need a stopper at both the top and the bottom to stop that from happening. Now I'm going to kind of repeat this process for the top portion of the mountain panel and again I'm going to avoid placing any of this foam tape within a half inch distance from the edge of the slope that's just to because if you put any foam tape there you might impede the movement of the penny sliding through so that's something to be mindful of and I, it's okay to put the very tip edges with a little foam tape because again we want to stop the um, critter from sliding out of the track so you, you definitely want some foam tape right there now before I stick it down you want to make sure you pop your penny in place because this is the time to do it otherwise once you stick it down it's a little trickier to get it in there and then once you get that penny in there you're now ready to kind of create the little portion of where your critter is going to kind of attach um, you want it to be kind of long and rectangular that will prevent it from kind of spinning around when it slides in the track. Now as you can see here after I stuck the foam tape down it slides still perfectly through which is awesome and now we're going to be ready to kind of um, add our little trick element here. This is a little strip of acetate and that is what's going to be what our critter is actually attached to. The acetate will be attached to the penny and then we will attach our critter to the acetate and that's that's our little trick for getting over that um, front slope that's going to hide the track. So I just trimmed it down, stuck it down to my foam tape. Now my foam tape is a little bit bigger than my acetate so I have a couple little sticky portions of foam tape. I'm going to grab my anti-static bag here and just tap it on those sticky portions of foam tape that are exposed just to prevent anything sticking to it that I don't want it to stick because we definitely want that penny moving very freely so we have a nice sliding um, interaction. So I added the, a tiny little square of foam tape to the top of that acetate and I, that's all I'm going to need to stick my bunny to the acetate. And as you can see it moved perfectly and we are good to go. So now we can kind of close this up so I have the front panel. Again I'm going to add some foam tape. You have to add foam tape to this. So 
and that you have an opening for some space for that slider again to move around. And just like before, I avoid placing any of that foam tape within a half inch distance from the edge of the slope. And once I double check to make sure everything seemed to fit and line up perfectly, I'm going to remove the backing and then slide that, tuck that in underneath the kind of the feet uh, and the skis of my little mouse and then stick it down. Give it a quick check to make sure it's still sliding well. And then I'll just finish this card up by kind of gluing all my die cuts. I'm gonna glue down the little snow caps to my mountains with some Tombow Mono Multi Liquid Adhesive. Use the same glue to glue down some of these, these trees that we colored. And the only thing you wanna be cautious here is those top trees on the back slope. You wanna make sure they're kind of not glued in way of the slider or that acetate because if you don't want the acetate getting kind of caught up in those trees and you can see there my little mouse is clear of those and they just add a nice little pop back there and that completes the card and you can see we're going to hold up to the camera and play around with this really fun sliding motion i really think i love creating interactive cards they are i think they're just so fun and cool and i thought that this card was a really fun idea because i like that the track is hidden it's just a fun surprise and i think it's just really kind of an a really elegant and polished kind of interactive card and that is the first one that i created there with the bunny so two versions of the same card just the slopes on a different side i hope you guys enjoyed today's card and video if you want any more of information on the products i use please check out my links below i'll also share links to my blog and you can also follow me on instagram and if you like this video i'd love for you to subscribe to my channel thank you so much for watching and i hope you guys have a wonderful day